Hey guys, we are in Sacramento um, for the day and we are at Paige's Statuary and I thought that you guys would like to see this. We're just looking at fountains and some statuary. They have some really, really cool stuff here. And I thought that you guys would like to see what we find. Um, we're probably not gonna get anything, but I wanted to stop and look since we're here. Like you guys can see this place goes on forever and they've got some really beautiful stuff. So let me turn the camera around and show you guys. So if I see the prices on any of these, I'll definitely tell you guys what they are. Like this fountain right here is $1,395 super good size fountain. And then this monolithic beast right here is 7,900. It's like almost eight grand. And I love this one right here. This guy is $2,195. I also really like these guys. <laughs> they have some really, really cool stuff here. This is our first time ever coming here. Like, look at this one. This one has the horses on it. This one's 4,800. This thing is massive. This one's just over five grand and it's got a nice basin at the bottom. This one's two grand, a little skinny guy. I really love the way that this one looks. This place just goes on for absolute ever. So let me show you guys what else we have here. I would love to have a lady like this on a pedestal underneath our willow. I think that would be so stunning. They have like these lanterns, they're 95, big like Buddha woman, I don't know, 395. All these like fountain toppers here. I really like these guys, these birds. And then a ton of planters. These are massive too. I don't know how much these are, but you guys can see like these guys are huge. This lion is bigger than my hand. Looks like that one right there is like 400. They even have the lady head urns that have been super popular. A bunch of religious statues here. Not bad pricing on pretty much everything here for what I'm seeing. These look like the planters that we just did. That we stained green, but much, much larger. bunch of bird baths over here and it looks like these are full of pond plants with some little fishies in them and then more pond plants and even more this place is cool because they've got little gazebos everywhere around all the fountains this place just has so much stuff so you guys will see, this place just goes on forever. We've only seen the half of it so far. That half over there. And then you walk across this little entry bridge right here. And this is the other side of this area. It just goes on all the way over to that other side there. The prices really aren't that bad for how large a lot of these fountains are. Some of them look more intricate designs, get more expensive. I love that they show them with water. A lot of them are working, so that's really fun. Let's see what else we find. They have some of the wall fountains too, for wall space. This one's like 1,014. These are massive too, you guys. Oh, look, they even have little bridges. Oh, and this wall fountain is huge. Can't believe how big that guy is there. They have an actual little pond there. I like how small this guy is a lot. This one's definitely more my size. And I love how much water's coming off of him. This one is 695. 
And I really like that one a lot. The base and everything. This one here too, 595. Elephant is super cute. This one's kind of fun, super tall, skinny. Corner fountains, wall fountains, pretty much every style, modern. These ones are probably my favorite wall fountains that I've seen, these three. Little bunnies. Plants. My future husband. Some cool wind chimes in here. I love all the ladies that they have here. I want one in my garden so bad. They also have a couple male statues. Love them. And then look at this table and chairs, you guys. Is this not the coolest set you have ever seen? Like, how cool is that? And it's got little cherubs holding it up. in love with this guy right here. Little frog. The big frog, I guess I should say. But all these fountains here, too. They just have so much here. So if you guys really are in the Sacramento area, check out Pages, Statuary. They have everything that you could ever want. And they have things as cheap. It's all fountains like $75. And then, you know, $10,000. So they really have everything here. So now we are at the Charles C. Jensen Botanical Garden. This is a three and a half acre botanical garden that was privately owned and is now um, owned by Parks and Recs. This is a really, really beautiful garden. They have all kinds of really cool trees, everything that Charles Jensen himself had grafted and brought here. He and his wife used to bring up truckloads of plants and there's a little like dry creek well it's dry now but you can see that there was water in it there's a creek behind me um they have a tulip garden so let me show you guys everything we came here at the perfect time all of the tulips look like they are super freshly opened and i cannot wait to show you guys this garden this is so stunning so this is right when you walk in and this is the tulip garden area here so many different varieties and if you guys want to stop and read, just tap on the screen to pause it and you guys can read all about um, the botanical garden.
so I was in the middle of editing and I realized that I didn't film me saying goodbye. So we went on that trip um, a couple days ago and we had a lot of fun. So if you guys are in the Sacramento area, those are definitely two places that I highly recommend visiting. Um, the botanical garden was beautiful. I think probably most of the tulips might be spent by now, but still totally worth it to go. And then Paige's um, Fountain and Statuary, I think it's called. Love that. Uh, we will definitely be making a second trip down there again to go check that out. So I wanted to say thank you guys for watching um, and going on our little date with us. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.